Hi fellow breeders, Mike here again from Silver Spurs Equine. I hope everybody enjoyed their summer because the heat lamp turned off in Arizona and the weather is fine. Well, in this blog, as I mentioned last time, I'm going to talk about my fabulous gunner line. I truly hope that these blogs are helping you decide which of my fabulous stallions you should breed your mare to give you the best chance of breeding a futurity champion and winning one of Silver Spurs Futurity Incentive Awards. Hopefully, the $350,000 award for winning the NRHA Level 4 Open Futurity. I would also like to make clear that as we continue to discuss the many great bloodlines only available at Silver Spurs, that you get a clear understanding of how methodical we are when selecting stallions. We never purchase a stallion just because he's the flavor of the month like many other stallion owners do. For Silver Spurs to make an acquisition, the stallion has to fit a well-defined criterion First and foremost, it's bloodline. Next, it's confirmation. Followed by having a great mind, athleticism, and finally, it's show record. Silver Spurs has been breeding now for over 18 years. And during that time, we've campaigned over 40 stallions. Our last acquisition was Epic Titan in late 2018. Titan was purchased to complete our gunner line. Now, don't think that just because we have not purchased another stallion in four years that we're no longer requiring new stallions. The only reason we haven't made an acquisition is because most of the new champions shown in the show pen today are offspring of our existing stallions. As soon as we see an up-and-comer that we believe will add value for our breeders and our breeding program, believe me, he will become a Silver Spurs Stallion. Also, very important, have you noticed that Silver Spurs puts its stallions in the show pen as little as possible? I have my stallions compete just enough to show my breeders what they're capable of and then shut them down. I do this because I'm a breeder and I want all of my stallions to have long breeding careers. Bloodline should always supersede show pen winnings. Okay, now back to Gunner. Gunner has proven himself to be one of the all-time great show horses and sires with competition winnings of over 177,000 when earnings were a lot less. And he has sired offspring that have won over 14 million. He was shown by multiple riders and always gave a great performance. He could do everything. Stop, turn, circle, you name it. And his exquisite color brought a whole new look to the NRHA. At Silver Spurs, we are so proud to say that we have Gunner's Best. I've already discussed Tinker with Guns when we discussed our Remnick line, so if you missed it, please go to that blog. His offspring earnings are over 780000 which is not surprising because he is the product of two of the best bloodlines in the history of our industry and he's the highest NRHA money-earning son of Gunner. So if you're not breeding to Tinker, you better think again. Remember, the best mares to breed to Tinker are sired by Magnum Chick Dream, Mr. Boomerjack, Topsail Wiz, Rowdy Yankee, and Hollywood Dunnit. To date, Tinker has sired an NRBC champion and a fifth place finisher in the run for the million along with several finalists in the majors and champions in regional shows. Now, let's talk about H.F. Mobster. Mobster, as he's affectionately known here at the ranch, was sired by Gunner 
and is out of Dunnett's Black Gold by the great Hollywood Dunnett. The first time I saw Mobster was at the 2014 World Equestrian Games in Normandy, France. Our entry was Custom Cash Advance, who brought home the team gold and individual silver. If he did not have a trot out, out of one rollback in the finals, that silver medal, you better believe it would have been gold. But we'll talk about cash in another blog. At the games, after Mobster executed a fabulous set of turns, Jordan Larson was running his first set of big, fast circles. And coming around the far side of the first circle, the ground was so slick, Mobster slipped and went right down on his belly. The amazing thing was that he just came right back up without missing a beat, and he continued the pattern. I was so impressed that I said to Michelle, that horse has real grit. He's tough, and we have to own him. That evening, I met the man who became my partner with Mobster, Andy Fishburne, and the rest is history. Mobster is an NRHA Derby champion and has earned 122000 in the show pen. His offspring have earned over 750000 and if it weren't for some bad breaks in training and in the show pen, Mobster would have been well on his way to proving that he's one of Gunner's elites. And I have every confidence that Mobster is going to win a major real soon. To date, Mobster has sired a Congress Open Futurity Champion, a 7th and 12th place finisher at the NRHA Open Futurity, a limited 6th and intermediate 12th place finisher, along with several regional and local championships. Ugh. The best mares to breed to Mobster have been sired by Conquistador Wiz, Magnum Chick Dream, Shining Spark, and Smart Chickalina. Looks like mares by Conquistador Wiz and Smart Chickalina are the golden crosses so far. But what makes Mobster so very special to me in addition to his grit is his kindness, his incredible mind, and that fabulous buckskin color. When I go in to the show barn, that's the one that's attached to my house every morning to visit with my stallions, Mobster is always the first to say hi. And guess who's the second guy to stick his head out for a hug? You got it, Epic Titan. Titan was sired by Gunner and is out of the great producing mare, Princess in Diamonds, by the great Shining Spark. What is amazing about Titan is as gentle and as kind as Titan is, when he goes into the show pen, he trans into an incredible show horse. His very first time in the show pen at the Cactus Classic, he gave an electrifying 234 performance. Here is a classic case of where we just showed a stallion enough to prove his athleticism and then get him into the breeding barn. We only showed Titan four times his championship run at the Cactus Classic, the NRBC where he was reserve champion, Raining by the Bay, the Open Derby where he was reserve champion, and at the High Roller Raining Classic where he finished fourth. In all, winning a little over 82,000. See a pattern here? It seems that the magic number for, of winnings for some of the industry's great sires is in the 80,000 range. Well, now that we've had him for a few years, with three full crops of hours on the ground, and we've been able to watch how his babies are developing, it is clear that he will also be one of Gunner's elites. When professional trainers in our industry see his offspring, they all agree that Titan will be one of the industry's greats. The proof of this was at the 2021 NRHA Yearling Select Sale, where two of my Titan yearlings sold for over $100,000 the highest selling for 150000 Remember, that's for an untrained yearling by a sire that has not had one horse in the show pen yet. The reason everyone wants Titans is because his offspring are all built like tanks, have excellent conformation, are extremely athletic, and have great minds.
And what gunner line would be complete without the great, soon to be an NRHA $3 million sire, the one and only Paleface Dunnett? To date, Paleface's total offspring earnings are a little over 2965000 with 2,908,000 in reigning and the rest in cow, ranch, and other disciplines. Paleface was sired by Gunner and is out of Lena Dunnett by the great Hollywood Dunnett. His lifetime earnings in the show pen are only 72,000, but in this case, <clears throat> his small earnings are attributed more to the fact that the great Craig Smersel got pale face late in his show career than anything else. I'm so glad Ginger Smersel asked me to partner with them on pale face. Not only is he a great breeding sire, but he is such a pleasure to be around. Pale face, like all of my stallions, because they have such great minds, are extremely kind and gentle on the ground, but put them in the show pen and they're all business. Paleface exemplifies this to a T, and he throws off this great quality to his offspring. Combine his great mind and disposition with his perfect confirmation, and you have the complete formula for success. The proof of this is clearly demonstrated when you look at his top 10 leading offspring. Each of the dams of these great performers are all by different sires. And here they are. Hollywood Done It, Wizard Jack, Smart Like Juice, Jack's Electric Spark, Lena Nakasha Kida, Rowdy Yankee, Shining Spark, Top Sail Wiz, and even a paint RR Store. Paleface is truly one of Gunner's best and should always be on your breeding regimen. So, there you have it, my great gunner line. I'm so proud of it. Now that we've discussed my stallions by Remenick and Boomernick, Shining Spark and Gunner, next time we're going to discuss the stallion that put Silver Spurs on the map. You guessed it, the one and only, the greatest, Spook's got a gun. So, I'll see you soon, and remember, if you have any questions, just give me a call, and I'll be more than happy to talk to you. See you soon.